are you feeling? I'm feeling like God. God was always here, and I just couldn't get out of His damn way. And uh, feeling extremely blessed. I can't always stand by myself. Lord knows I try. Ain't as tough as I seem Sometimes As much as I fight Tonight I'm leaning on the bottle With the Bible in my hand And kneeling like you taught me By this empty king-size bed Mr. Jim, how are you? I'm Blessed more so now than forever. You yeah. excited, I can tell. Uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I, I, I would say it's a little bit better than playing Rocco's in Jasper, Georgia. Well, I'll say that. <laughs> well, we'll calm you down a little bit. Here's your itinerary for the evening. Oh wow! And I thought you might like to have a couple of these programs for tonight. Wow! And of course, we also have one very important thing. That, that's pretty cool now. <laughs> that's it. That's pretty cool now. Thank you, Jim. You're quite welcome. Now, you want to be in dress room number four. Yes, sir. Number four is the very first room on the left-hand side, starting down the hallway. Yes, sir. If you need anything, come see us. Absolutely. Thank you. God Thank bless you. you. You be safe out there and have a good time tonight. I will. I will. Thank you. God bless you. Tell you what I'm feeling, let me tell you what I'm needing. Girl, it's such a simple plan. Don't need no wine, no roses, just in case you haven't noticed. I just want to be your man. Baby, close the shades and let's forget the day. Saying it all, baby, let's walk through that door. <laughs> nice. Going to quote? Let's see. So many things I can tell you to say, and all of them are inappropriate. So uh, don't listen to me. How about that? What is going on? Uh, it's just a Friday night at the Grand Ole Opry. What do you got tears in your eyes for? I don't squall them, son. I Have you been, squall you been squalling already? Oh, yes, yes. Have you been squalling already? Then it's oh, getting ready to get now ugly. They're, now they're filming. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, no, no. Don't, don't let, don't let that. Listen. Don't let, don't let the, don't let the film crews take away from what you're doing here tonight. Okay. Now I'll tell you, I'll tell you the same thing I told Tony Jackson the night he made his Opry debut. Okay. A lot of people, when you walk in here, you let the nerves get to you. And you start, you, you get you get all hyped up, mm -hmm. you, and you don't enjoy it, mm -hmm. okay? Enjoy it. You've, you've worked hard to get here. Fifteen year overnight success. Exactly. <laughs> don't, don't let that, don't, don't let that freak you out. Mm -hmm. Just take the opportunity to, to kind of relax with it and, and take it in. Because it truly is, man. I mean, it's the, it's, you know, you and I talked about this, what, three years ago? Yeah. Four years ago? Yeah. You know? It's like, man, it'll happen. It'll happen. You know, just, just enjoy it. Just take the opportunity now that it's here. 
you know, you got all your people with you. you now we're backstage and I'm standing here with Mark Wills. <laughs> and he looks like he's about to cry again. And, you know, no, I ain't going to cry okay, again. Okay, good. There good. ain't no more tears. I didn't okay, cry tomorrow. Right. I promise good you that. Good but, good but, but, but I'll say this. Having lunch with Ricky yeah. and having you as a mentor, man, um, thank you. Dude, you're welcome. Um, it, it, it was, it's, it's, that's all I can say. I got to play some bluegrass. With, I know. With I heard it. Band. Well, I, with so, it. so I saw you when you walked into when walked into Rhonda's room, and I was like, "Okay, I know what's getting ready to happen." Oh yeah, yeah. I'm playing so Keith with right? me. So I just <laughs> I just turned around and walked out. I was like, "I got other stuff I got to go do," you know. So, I'm yeah. but I, but enjoy. It. So I'll do I'll, I'll do the same thing for you. You can't film this. You can't. Right. Okay. So I gave Tony one of these. That's that's that's. Oh, wow. But it's mine. But. Stick in your pocket. Okay. Treat that as a little good luck charm. You're gonna do fine. Just okay. just don't get all don't get all freaked out. You'll be fine. You're gonna do fine. I promise you. Welcome to the Grand Ole Opry. <laughs> Lord God, thank you so much for putting us in this spot. Thank you, Lord God, for Miss Diana. Thank you for Mr. Jim. Thank you for everybody, Ricky, Mark. Um, at Rhonda, everybody, for getting us to this point, God, I just want you to to overwhelm everybody here with the, the presence of your of your name and, and and your calling and your blood, Lord. And uh, and I, I'm just so blessed and so humbled right now. I, I don't know what to say, man. I, I love you. I need you. And uh, be with both of my guitar players. Be with the Opry Band. Be with Miss Diane tonight. And uh, let's get it done. The show must go on. Amen. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Guest is somebody that you know. It is somebody that I know. Listen, we have an Opry debut tonight, and we are so excited. Yes, we are. Jacob Bryant is a friend of yours. He is. He's a Georgia boy, and I had a chance to hang out with him this morning on WSM. He's amassed over 1.5 million streams already. That's right. His most recent album, Barstool Preacher, is out, so y'all need to check that out. Currently on his Barstool Preacher tour, and tonight, he's making his Grand Ole Opry debut. Would you do the honors? I will. I will. You know, Opry, it is, uh, it is an amazing feeling the first time you step into the circle. And uh, for those of you who have had the opportunity to do that, uh, you'll never forget it. And this guy... He and I, we live about 15 minutes from each other down just north of Atlanta. And uh, I told him about five years ago, we were talking about him making his Opry debut. I said, buddy, I promise you this, the night that you make your Opry debut, whether I'm a member or not, I will be there. Well, now I'm a member and I get to walk out on the stage tonight and welcome to the Grand Ole Opry and have the Grand Ole Opry welcome him for his very first time. Would you please? Make welcome for his Opry debut from the big city of Canton, Georgia. Y'all say hello to Mr. Jacob Bryant. How we doing at Grand Ole Kick her off, fellas. That's all I know. I, 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 I gotta get to play the music. That's all I know, too. There's sometimes I pray, but not like I would if you were here. There's sometimes I drink a little more than I should to fight back. Sometimes I drink a lot more than I should to drown out these tears. But when I'm holding on to my last breath, I'm drowning in that drop that's left, and he knows I don't know what to say. Sometimes I I'm free. 
Right there. That's what makes you so nervous to think about the historical part of the Opry and how it's played such a part in country music. I mean, it, Alan Jackson said it best. I mean, it's this, uh, there'll never be a bigger show than what I just walked on stage and played. There'll, there'll never be a bigger one. You could play Madison Square Garden or Red Rocks or whatever, and it would, it would be an accolade for sure. But I have my daughter, I have my wife, I have my son, I have my team, I have my manager, I have everybody here to experience this with me and um, and also got this guy. And he, and he was there, he was in that circle with me. And uh, it was just really cool. It was really, really cool, man. I'm, I'm uh, <clears throat> God is good. That's all I know to say. God is good. The first time I ever felt the earth shake was in Miami. When angels touched me, oh, it shook me. I told her that I loved her and I want her to stay. That's so cool. That's my favorite.